Round six of the AFL season had more than its fair share of upsets and they didn't come much bigger than the Giants' stunning win over the reigning Premiers. Hawthorne were playing at Spotless Stadium for the first time but they made themselves right at home early. And he gets on his left boot and kicks the Hawthorne's second goal. GWS are a much improved side this year and they took the game right up to the Hawks. Smith crying, oh. how about that? That's one of the goals of the season. Leon Cameron's team was brave, but when Hawthorne extended their lead in the final term, they looked set to run away with it. What speed to run the 40 metres out. That's good speed. Oh, yes, Billy Hartung kicks it. But in a sign of their growing maturity, the Giants came storming back with a seven-goal haul from Jeremy Cameron, the highlight of his club's first ever win over the Hawks. He might get it. Oh. He gets it off the ground. He says, I can do anything. The Giants have captured the Premiers at home. Injury hit West Coast weren't given much hope of beating Port Adelaide on their home turf, but the visitors found their feet early. And Yo has put it through. No doubt about that one. Robbie Gray was important for the power, who edged to a 17 point lead at half time. When he's kicked two out of two. Mark Lecra was equally influential for the Eagles. West Coast took the lead in the third quarter and had to withstand a spirited Port fight back to claim a famous win. Luke Shuey, the moment of reckoning. He kicks the goal. The Western Bulldogs were flying high in third spot heading into their clash with St Kilda and Luke Beveridge's side could do no wrong as they stormed to a 55 point lead early in the third quarter. Cramer gets another chance. He gets another chance and he takes it. The match was soured by serious injury to young Bulldog Clay Smith with things getting heated soon after. It was a different Saints side that came out after the break. St Kilda piled on seven goals to one in the third term, with Jack Billings kicking four goals to help the Saints to the fifth biggest comeback win in the competition's history. Billings is 45 out. He steadies low, keeps it low and kicks the goal. Last place Brisbane was still without a win when they ventured to Etihad Stadium to take on fellow strugglers Carlton and they threw their weight around early. Yeah, that's a definite free kick. I mean, really, that's a silly thing to do, yeah. It was a close, scrappy affair in the first half, but Dale Thomas provided a rare highlight. The Blues edged out to a 15-point lead in the third quarter, but a five-goal burst from the Lions set up their first win of the season. It brilliantly kept it alive for Leicester. Leicester runs and kicks the goal. Second place Collingwood had their bubble burst by a fast-starting Geelong on Friday night. Oh, clever by Clark to Motlop, and he's kicked another one. The Pies fought back from 52 points down at half time, but the Cats weren't to be denied. Top of two well. Top of two. Oh, take it all back. Fremantle skipper Matthew Pavlich went into Saturday night's clash against Essendon under an injury cloud after suffering a concussion last week, but he quickly put aside any lingering concerns. Oh, he's still doing it after all these years, and he's got some more to give. Ross Lyons' unbeaten side led the disappointing Bombers by 54 points at three-quarter time before easing to a 28-point win that sent them two games clear on top of the ladder. Handed it off to Pierce. Who kicks a goal? Gold Coast were looking for their second win of the season when they hosted Adelaide, but the Crows had a point to prove after last week's showdown loss. Eddie Betts booted five goals and Taylor Walker added four as Adelaide led at every break on their way to a comfortable win at Metricon Stadium. Opens it up. Billy Stretch made his AFL debut when Melbourne took on Sydney and the first kick of his career was one to remember. About 35 out and he's made it look pretty easy, he'd be excited. He's but it quickly turned into a night to forget for the Demons as the Swans made their move. To tip it, he kicked three in a row in the second quarter, buddy, he wanted it, make it four goals to tip it. The quarter proved pivotal for North Melbourne against Richmond in Hobart with the Roos slamming through seven goals to one. Zebel, who had a hand in it, Thomas for four!